Greetings from Bethel Memorial Baptist Church. I'm Pastor Brent. We just had our prayer meeting time, had 20 different people there at the prayer meeting. It was a time of encouragement. One person, as it closed, said they were feeling tired before it began and they were invigorated, energized as we closed. I felt the same way. I asked everybody what the uh, tomorrow was, and a few people knew. Tomorrow is the um, National Day of Prayer, the May 7th. And I asked what they had heard anything about it, and very few people had. I've been researching it today, and I believe there's a 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock tomorrow night uh, recording or something that will go out in many different channels over the, um, from Washington, D.C., but then there's also a local in the Lehigh Valley group that's gathering at noon. In the, in the email I send out to the church, I will be sending out some of the details of where you might be able to find that. But more importantly, it's a time to pray. You don't have to participate with all these other things. You just need to take the time to pray. Their verse this year is Habakkuk 2.14. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. I asked what was the first thing you noticed in that verse, and we all agreed it was the glory of the Lord. The sense of being able to see the glory of the Lord does capture our attention. Then the next thing we noticed was, it says, the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will be known. It's, it's a matter of, not what we'll have the fullest expression of the glory of the Lord, but we'll have the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. I think about Jesus walking with his disciples. It was glorious. But then there was the Mount of Transfiguration. And then they really, really experienced his glory as um, Moses and Elijah joined him on that mountain. And the glory shone around him. Just the, the thought of that. And then we talked about how the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. And I asked this question, how will God's glory be made known? One of the first answers was through prayer. We need to be praying for our world. We, we sometimes limit our prayers to just the things that we're thinking about. We had a great time tonight praying for the, the requests that were made known to us but we need to always be praying for uh, the, the work of God throughout the nations. Another person said, as we share the good news, we are God's instrument to making a difference. We can share the good news and admit, well, I'm not going around the world, but if we share the good news effectively, there'll be more and more people. And out of those people, God will send people around the world. We just need to see, we need to be faithful at praying and sharing the good news. Then one person said, the, the language, the message needs to be translated in every language if you're going out to the world. That was encouraging because my in-laws are with Wycliffe Bible Translators, and, and that's the, a, a big part of their mission is to make sure that the, the language can go, the Bible, the Word of God can go to every tongue. But then I was reminded, I love Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory. There's no speech. There's no place where their language is not heard. So even if we don't translate into every language, creation is shouting and, and displaying God's glory. So the knowledge of his glory can be made known, even as we wait for, for missionaries and, and the word of God to be shared with every nation. The reason I pointed out creation is because of creation, no one is without excuse if they do not come to know the Lord, because creation should draw them to come to know him. But we know from the scriptures, the Spirit has to do a work to draw people to the, to the Father, to the Son. We need to, to recognize we can only come through the Son, and the Spirit draws us to the Son to know that. So I, I just looked up this verse. It's kind of a New Testament version of the Habakkuk. Then will appear, Jesus is talking, then will appear in heaven the sign of the Son of Man, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. What's, what's going on there? Why did the tribes of the earth mourn? I think those are the people that have not come to receive the glory of the Lord by faith, is to realize who the Son of Man is, to know who they should follow and trust as their Savior. 
they will be condemned and they know their judgment is coming. But then Jesus will send out his angels uh, with a loud trumpet call and they will gather the elect from the four winds. I believe the tribulation is the 70th week of Daniel. It's a time of judgment for uh, purifying for the nation of Israel, a judgment for the whole earth. And there will be those that are saved during that seven year period and they will be scattered because of persecution and difficulty. And the angels will go and gather them in and they'll be brought in to be with the Lord forever. That's, those are some pretty powerful things to think about. And I guess I would just say, we need to be praying. We need to be praying that the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. And the, the example there is the waters cover the sea. I took a moment and some license and just said, consider this, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, like the coronavirus spreading through the nations. Think about how this virus started in one place and how quickly it spread. The gospel has been spreading throughout the time since, since Pentecost. The, 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 the church, the early church, learned and grew, as Jesus said, stay there till the Spirit comes to you. And they grew, but then through persecution, they began to spread throughout the whole world. We ended our time of, of prayer after discussing a number of things uh, for, for prayer items. And we just said, what are some things that we're praying for? And we talked about the the, the physical needs of people, the, the, the depression that people are going through, depression, talked about those that are fighting uh, addictions and how they're succumbing to those addictions, talking about how negative people can be. They don't like what's going on, all the protests and all the things that are going around. We shouldn't be caught up in that. We're affected by it. We don't want to deny it. We get down. That's okay. But we need to be praying for the glory of the Lord to be known throughout the whole earth. I hope you take some time tomorrow during the day of prayer. I'll be sending out with the email some prayer uh, lists, things that you can pray for, three different versions of it. You choose the one that best fits you and your needs. But think about the fact that prayer is the way that we go to the, to the, the Son of Man at the throne of grace and pray for his knowledge, the knowledge of his glory to be known throughout the whole world. I pray that you are blessed and I pray that you are well.